I love China because I think people can enjoy a closer community there. You know, I mean, people seem to be quite closer to each other. They can share a lot of stuff with each other. And one point I don't like America that is exactly this aspect. That is, I think that people don't really care that much about each other.、Mm-hmm. I, I mean, they they can definitely help with each other,、uh, and and you know they have great devotion to this society, to everyone in this society. But it seems to me that they don't have that kind of closeness、uh, between each other. So sometimes I feel a little bit lon- lonely here, but. I can. I I think that it totally makes sense, and I think I I'm quite used to it now. But I'm still don't like it, you know.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I I think just a difference, you know. Recently, I have read some pieces about this aspect, saying that maybe Americans are more individualistic,、mm-hmm. and Chinese are more collectivistic.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and Chinese people can share a lot of information with each other, and can be very close friends to have very insightful talks. You know, to 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 ex- expose yourself to be very close friends, to know every stuff, to, to know your, your opinions, and to criticize you in um in face as a friend. But it seems to me that it is hard for me to develop such a close relationship with. Yeah, I know exactly. Do you I mean, agree? I yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, I don't have the experience in China to be able to compare. But I think, I mean, that's something that I've heard not just from Chinese students, but from a lot of Asian, like students who come from Asian、mm-hmm. countries. And I think thinking about my own experience when I was in college.、Um, I mean, I think I think that that does exist. That what you're talking about of you know having a friend who you kind of share deeply with and and you know talk at length about how you feel about things or you know really know each other well. But I think I, I think American society it doesn't. There's no problem, and it's sort of encouraged to have a large. Group of friends that's kind of larger than the number of people that you can have that sort of relationship with, and and those people are still considered friends, even though the relationship may be more superficial, and you know you're friends because you like to they're you know they're in the same group of people that you go out to parties with or you go out to to dinner with.、Um, But you maybe don't necessarily know them in a deeper sense, and it's、yeah. and it's interesting because it sort of parallels a debate that I've been having recently with some people about the difference between、um, introverted people and extroverted people. So the types of people、uh-huh. who、um, not that not necessarily like to keep to themselves, but You know, tend to have fewer friends and are a little more kind of internal and and thinking versus the types of people who are really outgoing and like to be with people all the time.、Um, and I think it's the same distinction. And American society favors extroverts over introverts, and so it sounds、mm-hmm. like that there's sort of a little bit of. That that extrovert type of personality is not the type of personality that is prevalent or favored in Asian societies, where maybe that the introverted kind of personality, where you have fewer friends but closer, it, is that sound right? Yeah, I think so. I agree. <laughs> <laughs>、mm-hmm. That's exact. That's, that's exactly the situation. <laughs> But have you? I mean, have you found like a group of friends while you're here? Oh yeah, I do have lots of friends here. I mean, I mean, I mean, I didn't mean,、uh, I didn't mean it like. Do you have any friends? <laughs> I, I'm sure you have friends, but just you know, have you found kind of those <laughs> close relationships of of people who you can feel comfortable with? Oh. Oh yeah, usually they are from Asia、mm-hmm. too. You know.、Uh, mm-hmm. Those real, really close friends. They usually come from Indonesia, come from India, 
Korea, but not America. Uh, yeah, I do have one or two American friends that really help me a lot. I mean, uh, I have a friend Maya. I have wrote about her in one of my posts. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, yeah. you are still you still remember. And she she's really I mean she's really generous, and her family was is just so gorgeous, and um, they teach me a lot, and they help me. They, they gave me lots of experiences. Just you know, just help me without any expectation to get anything from me. To, you know, just a kind of one way um, generosity, <laughs> and 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 I really appreciate that. And that I think it. I mean, it is really nice for them to help me so much. Um, but it seems to me that. When, when I really want to have a kind of talk with Maya, I mean, I want her, sometimes I just want her to criticize me, to give me some idea, uh, just to, you know, to reveal my weaknesses directly. And it seems to me that um, she's always so, so nice, so kind, and that, that she, she doesn't really want to say that. To you know, to feel my weaknesses or something, but I um I need to be satisfied. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, I need to. Be, I think I need to appreciate that, and I think I'm already lucky enough to have friendships like that. And how is your re relationship like uh, with your roommates? You were living with American girls, right? I remember from your first post. They both are very nice people, and <laughs> they. I mean, they, they can share lots of, um, I mean, those, how do you say, um, those forks, those knives with me. Um, so I don't need to buy forks and knives on my own and just share the, those things, those stuff with them. And, and one of my roommates even have a toaster and she's willing to share it with me too. So I only need to buy the toasts. So, <laughs> so uh, I mean, they really help me a lot in lots of aspects. But we still don't have talks, you know. Kind of weird. I mean, we, we live in the same room, but uh, we have different schedules. And we, we can barely hang out with each other. Mm -hmm. and yeah, maybe because one difference is that, you know, in China, we have classes. I mean, in a different sense. Uh, all the students have the same schedule, have, uh, choose the same courses, and so they, they have the same teacher. Uh, so we have lots of time to be with each other, so we can develop closer relationships. Well, that's interesting. So, so mm -hmm. when, you, when you meet people here, or when you have met people at college, was it through the clubs that you did, or was it just people on your hall? Where did you, where did you find these friends? I mean, I can, I can, I have known some friends, uh, some, some American friends. I got to know them from my class, but not a lot from the class. And um, and m m I met Maya in a kind of English club, mm -hmm. and that is a club about uh, usually to hold discussions about cultural differences and similarities to share abroad experiences, and Maya. Uh, and I met there, and actually, it is a very good club to develop relationship. But yeah, I think that is a major way for me to get to know more friends from that kind of club. And also, um, I have I, I participated in the kind of leadership program this year, mm -hmm. and also the forensic team that offers me uh, th those activities offer me lots of chances to meet different people. So. I can add that as my Facebook friends, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, but not that kind of close friends, you know. Even when we meet each other the other day in school, we may even don't know each other's name, mm -hmm. but they are still my Facebook friends. Yeah. So that's kind of the weird way. Yeah, but we are still friends in American sense. 